Nice to have you with us. Get set. Go! The Moose is loose here today as these two teams find out what it's like to go head to head on Handler to Handler. But one team will cry uncle while the other racks up 25 bucks. Nickelodeon in Florida and all those places, and we're going to have a good time here today. Now, what did you say about me today? I have trouble hearing those things. Uh, Ex-child actor from every, virtually every episode of Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> That's right. How's this? Gee, uh, Wally, I don't know. How's that? Is that all right? <laughs> Perfect. Close enough, huh? That's why I'm a game show host and not an actor. We have great teams, as always. They uh, start off to my left. They are dressed in red, and they call themselves the Rubbles. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. And uh, I don't think Barney or Fred's here, but we do have Chris, and we have Amber, and Orion, and MGM. No, Lynn. That's, a, that's an industry joke. Orion's a great name. How'd, how'd that uh, name pop up into the family? We stumped them all. They have no idea. Look at that. <laughs> From, uh, the that uh, From the constellations. From the constellations. From the constellations. That's very good. All right. Now, somebody uh, took a horse uh, trip somewhere. Who was this? Was it Amber? What happened, Amber? Well... We went to Georgia and we we were gonna ride a horse. Right. So we oh, I got on first and then a lady helped Ryan get on and he was holding on to me and he slid and I fell in the horse manure. You fell in the horse manure. Oh. She was only the farmer's daughter, but all the horse manure. Remember that? Well, gosh. Uh, no money just yet, but we have a team to my right. They are dressed in blue, and they are called the Daring Denims. And they have an interesting story to tell. We have Cindy, and we have Brad, we have Crystal, we have Mike, and I understand you haven't had lunch yet because of Crystal. Crystal, uh, tell me this, this experience that uh, has happened magically. <laughs> well, I wanted to come to um, Nickelodeon so we got in the line to, for the tour, and we came to the auditions. Then um, one family had to leave because of something. Then um, <laughs> they asked for the, a family of four. And you were it? Yes. And how long ago was that? 
I don't know. A couple hours, maybe? Is that all? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe two hours ago. It can happen to you folks. You can come here to Orlando, come to the Nick Studios, and be on the stage. And we won't throw you into horse manure, but we may throw you into some other stuff. And uh, <laughs> before we do that, let's talk about the rules. I'm going to be asking you a question. And if you don't know the answer and think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount. Then you'd either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the Daring Dunhams, and good luck to the Rubbles. Dunhams have control of this. $25 question. Name the star of the TV show Sydney, whose husband happens to be rocker Eddie Van Halen. Could add $25 to your score or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now worth 50. You could take the lead. Name the star of the TV show Sydney, whose husband happens to be rocker Eddie Van Halen. Double dare. Ooh, now worth 100 or you could take the physical challenge. Uh, physical challenge. Yes, audience, who is it? Do you know? Yes, it is Valerie Bertinelli. Oh, I'm so sorry you missed that, but I am happy that you're going to come down here and do a physical challenge. I need two people. Two of you. Yeah, right over here. <laughs> Jumping in front of each other here, uh, trying to figure out where we're going. Uh, we have an interesting looking uh, bowl of something over there. I'd like you to go over and take a look at that. And uh, no, you do that. Mom, I want you to come with me because I have a nice hat. You have such pretty hair. And uh, I would like to cover up that hair right now because it might get messy in a few moments, and, and Robin is going to put this hat on you and explain to you how this lid works. And over here, I have some interesting stuff. Jamie, come on over here. I always get the job of sticking my hand in here. I'd like you to show the folks what kind of goodies we have in there. We have uh, some garbage left over from various shows that we put in this uh, gack-filled bucket. Oh, we have, what is that, Jamie? It's a pepper. It's a pepper. And what else? Uh, I'm a pepper. You're a pepper. What else do we have down over here, Jamie? We've got, uh, what's that? Oh, it's a banana. Yeah, an old, an old banana and all sorts of good stuff. Thank you, Jamie, for helping us out. We've got a head of lettuce. When I say go, what you must do is start tossing things in that direction. And I'd like you to get three items in that trash bucket. And if you can get three items in that trash bucket in 30 seconds, we'll make you $100 richer. Otherwise, the money's going to the other team. After that lid gets open, you can keep it open if you'd like, and you can move as far back or as far forward as long as you don't go in front of this line over here. Three items in 30 seconds gives them $100. Good luck. On your mark, get set, go! Then They now have continued control, and uh, <laughs> she's just smiling like crazy over there. I'm so glad you're feeling good about that, Cindy. And uh, gee, I guess you've had lunch now, haven't you? Huh? Yeah. Tasty. Yes, tasty. Here's another $25 question. In the comic strip Garfield, what is the name of the hapless puppy that Garfield takes advantage of? Odie. Yeah, you're right. Add another $25. Odie. One fifty to zero. That'll change. Name the part of the brain that controls muscle coordination. It's worth $25, or you could dare them. Dare. dare. Now worth $50. Let's get on the board. Name the part of the brain that controls muscle coordination, or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth $100. You could take another physical challenge. Physical challenge. It is the cerebellum. Cerebellum. $100 physical challenge down here for the Daring Yunnams. Come on down. Two people, two different people. Right over here. Next to me, if you would, please. Okay. You're in good shape physically. You look great. You feel good? Good. You know, it's better to feel good than it is to look good. Or no, it's better to look good to feel good, Harvey. I can never remember that. It's better to look good? Better to look good than feel good. Well, do you look good or do you feel good? Both. Both. Well, uh, I'm going to give you a decision to make. You can sit over there or you can stand over there next to Robin. Which would you rather do? I'd rather go stand by her. You'd rather go stand next to Robin. Hold on a second. Let me go ask your wife about this. How do you feel about him standing next to Robin? I don't care if he stands by her. You don't care if he stands by her. Oh, a whole new dimension of family double there. Okay, sir, why don't you go over there next to Robin, and I'm going to bring your daughter over here and put her on our exercise bike. And when I say go, I would like you to get onto that bicycle and pedal. Now, if you pedal very, very hard, these balls through here will go flying off into this direction. And the harder you pedal, the farther those balls will go. And if you lighten up, you're uh, going to find out that the balls won't travel quite as far. And here's the object. You want to get those balls to land in this contraption because around the back, let me point it over here so these folks at home can see, we have a line around this plastic tube. And it takes five of those to get 
to the line or past the line. So if you have five balls up here to this line, at the end of 30 seconds, we will give you $100. Otherwise, it's going to the other team. You understand what you have to do over here? You understand what you have to do? When I say go, you can move as far back or forward as you'd like. $100 at stake. On your mark. Get set. Go! Start pedaling. Don't want to go. Congratulations. Let's move up here and add $100 to their score. Boy, they're batting 1000 today. They do have another $100 added up there. That brings them up to $250. We're still in round one, and that means this next question is also worth $25. According to NTC's Dictionary of American Slang, what do you do if you're scarfed out? Do you faint from exhaustion? Does that mean you overate? Or does that mean you pick the lint from your belly button? It's worth $25. There. All right, worth 50. According to NTC's Dictionary of American Slang, what did you do if you scarfed out? Did you faint from exhaustion? Did you overeat, or did you pick the lint from your belly button, or do you want to double dare them back? Faint from exhaustion? No, you overate if you scarfed out. We're going to have to put $50 over here. That brings them up to 300 and the Daring Dunhams continue to control. And that sound means it's the end of round one. And with $300, the Daring Dunhams have the lead. Two, that means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound right here, that means the game is over. Going for $50 control of round two. Up here I have a vat full of GAC. And when we pull on that little string, GAC will come flying out. Both teams will try to clean that up because our crew is just fed up with it. They don't want to do it anymore. And you have some brushes and we have some dust pans. Put that gook and that GAC right in there and pour it into this container. Blue side will be trying to do the same thing. First team to go past the line gets control and $50. Why don't we start that right now, Jamie? Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! I'm in there somewhere. Where did I go? Okay. <laughs> They're moving it out of the way. We have $50 for the rubbles, and uh, we are going to carry on with this next $50 question. Remember, it's 100 on a dare and 200 on a double dare. Anybody's ball game. Tell me, what number jersey did Lou Gehrig wear? It's worth $50, or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth 100 What number jersey did Lou Gehrig wear? Double dare. Now worth 200 or you could take a physical challenge. Ph physical challenge. It's the number four. One, two, three, four. Two hundred dollar physical challenge. Come on down and let's try and give some money away. All four of you down over here. Right over in this neck of the woods. And we are going to do the William Tell physical challenge. Sir, I'd like you to go over there and see Jamie. And uh, the three of you to go over there as well. I'd like you to come over here with me though. No, I want you to go over there with, uh, with Jamie and I want you to come over here with me because we have, oh man, what is it? What are you guys doing? Hi, uh, is that? Oh. Hi, who's there? Hi, Robin. Hey, we're just at, we had break. We have a break. You have a break? The break over? <laughs> no, the break. Yeah, the break's over. We're doing a show here, guys. Oh, uh, Why don't you get back to positions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just not aware of what's going on. I like you to have a seat right there in this, uh, what do you call this thing? Well, a commode. We'll clean it up. And this is called the William Tell uh, Physical Challenge. Here you go, Robin. Uh, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> no problem. There's some, gaggle, uh, some gaggles or some goggles. Some gaggles. She liked that. It's a gaggle of geese, isn't it? And, yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> yeah, there's that apple. And uh, we want to knock this apple off your head. How are we going to do it? Well, we have some arrows. Well, these are not really arrows. What they are are uh, plungers, and they're good and wet. And Jamie will show you that they fit in this little area, and you pull them back, and uh, show me exactly how that works, Jamie, if you would, please. Just like that, that's uh, the way to do it. Yeah, sure, round of applause for that. You notice he hit the bullseye, folks. You must have three arrows.
touching the bullseye, either in this area, could be there. They need to be touching it. Now, after they've been on for one or two seconds, our judges will give you the all-clear sign. If they fall out, fine. But we need three of them to stay on here for a matter of two seconds. And if three of those arrows stay or uh, remain at least for a couple of seconds before they drop off on our bullseye, then you must knock that apple off. And how do you do it? Well, you pull very hard on that tube, and uh, down will come an interesting substance uh, from this commode. Understand what you have to do? Yes. yes. Did you ever think you'd be sitting in this position on national TV? No. Probably not. No, I didn't imagine. 30 seconds to do it. $200 at stake. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Set them over there. There's one. You need to get two more. And if you do, we're going to add $200 to your score. Not there. Need two more to stay on. And no. We need to get them on there because they're trying to get away some money. And there's two. One more. We'll do it with 16 seconds. Can they pull them out? Yes, they've done it. Pull on the code. Congratulations! We've added two hundred dollars to their score. A round of applause, and let's move up here and play some more. Family double there. Holy mackerel! Two hundred and fifty is what they have. And uh, well, it's the only show in America where you can uh, be dumped upon and get rewarded in the process. We have two hundred and fifty dollars now for the Rubbles. They scored that very well, and uh, they could tie the score with this next question. I need the full name, the Gap Tooth cartoon character that appears regularly on the cover of Mad Magazine. I need the full name. <laughs> it's worth 50 or you could dare them. Huh? Need an answer. Alfred E. Newman. You have it. We have a tie score. Yeah. Alfred E. Newman, 300 to 300. Yeah, Coming from behind now, the rebels are. Yeah. Tell me, in what year did California become a state of the U.S.? It's worth 50 or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now worth 100. In what year did California become a state of the uh, U.S.? Or you can double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 200, or we could take another physical mm. challenge. Another, phys another physical challenge. <laughs> okay, the answer is 1850. This could decide the game. $200 physical challenge. Step with me over in this direction because we want to give away some more money. Over here, sir. And let's get the whole family down over here. <laughs> because this is not easy. Now, you seem to be a little messy, and you are very, very messy. And uh, I tell you what, we, we're going to give you a decision. Somebody needs to have a seat over there in that interesting contraption. Who would like to do it? You want to do it? You raised your hand. You go over there then. And uh, I'm going to come over here with him, and Jamie's going to take care of you folks over there. I'm going to ask you to get underneath here and have a seat, and we're going to ask you to pop your head out of this area right over here. And where is he? He's in there somewhere. There he is, folks. And when I say go, I'm going to ask you to move in that direction. Because do you know what you have just become? No. A pizza. You are the biggest pizza in North America. And when I say go, you're supposed to pedal those little feet going in this direction. And we have some sauce over here. I want you to pull on this, and that sauce will come down on top of that pizza. And then you need to move very quickly over here to where your dad's standing. And uh, I think we have some pineapple or some interesting topping. You must touch over in this area, and you must get some of that pineapple over there. And then you must come all the way over here and get situated underneath. You must be here, not half in, half out. You must be totally underneath this. And what is good on top of pizza? <laughs> Cheese. Oh, cheese, that's right. And if you say cheese and pull on that when he's underneath here, that will dump down. We'll give you $200 and could give you the game. Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock. On your mark. Get set. Go! Come on over. Move over. You're going to have to move a little quicker than that. And here goes. Go ahead, pull on. There, yeah, pull hard. Come on, move on over. Move on over. We're going to the next area. Here's where it gets a little more interesting. Help him out. Go ahead, push him over if you want. Help him out. Keep going. You see the answer? didn't happen. We only got sauce on. How about a round of applause for these folks, though? They did a nice job. $200 goes to the other team. I got drenched. Look at this. $500 now for the Daring Dunhams. They have control, and uh, we have this next question, which is worth $50. A new oh, that sound means it's the end of the game. And with $500, the Daring Dunhams have won today's game of Family Double Deer. Round of applause for them. We're going to take them to the Family Double Deer obstacle course, but Amber, come on over here, Amber. Amber, you look terrific. How about giving this young lady a round of applause? She really has gone far beyond the call of duty. <laughs> Did you have a good time on Family Double Dare? Yes. You got $300. I want to make sure that you get a good share of that because you worked very hard for it. And uh, Harvey, don't we have some neat gifts? <laughs>
to us from Fort Worth. They were at the Nickelodeon tour here at the Orlando facilities of the Nickelodeon studios, and they ended up on Family Double Dare, $500 in their pocket, going to try and win all these obstacles, right? Right. So you can win all those prizes, and you'll start off on number one. Dive on down. You'll come out where it says five cents. Jump over to this area, grab the first flag. And Harvey, what's prize number one? Mark, we'll start them off from Coral Diving Products Quality Silicone Snorkeling Sets for the whole family. Complete with masks and snorkels. Great underwater fun, and it's from Coral Diving. Number two, we'll pick up lots of time for you. Turn around, take a look. You can either dive through the bars or open up this door and go in there, pull on that bell, and down will come a flag. Grab it as quickly as you can and pass it on. And Harvey, what's prize number two? This time it's Monterey Foosball. Bring the excitement of soccer into your home with Monterey's Foosball Soccer. Fast action fun for the whole family with Monterey. Everyone plays. Icy Trike is number three. You must get back over here and actually sit down on this thing. Now, it gets rather slippery, and you want to go as fast as you can. And when you get to this wall, eep, you want to break it down. Then you want to leap over it, grab flag number three. And Harvey, what's prize number three? This time it's Resin Tell's Escapade Luggage Collection. The fun and inexpensive escape from traditional luggage, single shell molding, and rugged construction. Contemporary design from Resin Tell. You convinced your family to audition, and you actually got here. How do you feel about today's experience? I like it. You like it? Yeah, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, gosh, what was that? Well, that was a noise that is going to make this go up and down. And when you slide on through over there, you will find a flag on the bottom of a shoe. Grab that flag, pass that flag, and win this prize. A great Denon CD player. Denon's DCD520 compact disc player offers outstanding CD sound quality and the convenience of remote control. From Denon, the first name in digital audio. Brad is at number five, halfway point uh, would just be passed. You go through the kid wash right over there and try to get dried out when you hit this area, but reach up and grab that flag. You'll pick up time and you'll pick this up. It's the new DP Air Gometer exercise bike this time for a total excuse-proof workout at home. Electronic console measures calories and heart rate, and it's from DP. Rama, here it is, folks, the one you've all been waiting for. Who's going to win this match? I don't know. That guy doesn't seem to be moving. There is a flag way up there. It's obstacle number six, and here's prize number six. The ultimate stereo hi-fi VCR with on-screen menus for easy programming. Five-speed slow motion with HQ circuitry assures the finest pictures ever, and it's from Zenith. What kind of work does your husband do? Uh, he's a service manager. And uh, where does he do this? In the Fort Worth area? Yes, uh, Yule's Auto Service. Very good. Well, give him a plug. Heck, why not? You know, free commercial here on national TV. Uh, he probably doesn't have a secretary, does he? No. He does it all himself, and uh, you're going to have to do this one all yourself as well. X, C, D, P, O, S, A. Well, which one will make that flag go up? I have no idea, but I want you to find out because I'd like you to win this. Snark Sea Devil Sailboat features a full 70 square feet of sail on a popular sloop rig. Sea Devil is easily car topped as she weighs a mere 55 pounds. For easy economical sailing, the choice is Snark. With about, oh, 15 seconds remaining, you will start off up over in this neck of the woods, and you want to dive for this first one, or if you want, you can dive for this next one. We want to see you get across to the other side. We'd like you to grab that flag, because we'd like you to win this. Uh, this new car. It's the Ford Mustang LX great audience as always at the Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando, Florida. We're part of the Universal Facility. Stop down and see us. You may end up right here and you may get a chance to run this obstacle course. Cheer them on audience. We have 60 seconds on that clock. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go!
Mark, they did it all and they got the car. It's a $19,000 prize package. $19,000? Well, you are the hero of the day. You convinced your family to come on over here and audition. You're the one who actually won the car for them. You were hanging there. You pulled it off with two seconds. We had a great time. It's a dream story. Come over here and join us at the Nick Studios in Orlando. Thanks for watching. Good night. This is your announcer, Harvey, saying join us back here next time when your family can get into a big-time mess on Family Double there. See ya.